in the Columbia River Basin along the Snake River, the Corps of Engineers is taking important steps to improve fish passage. We're using the best available science to make sound decisions for the future of salmon in the Northwest. From here, salmon and steelhead make their way to the Pacific Ocean and return years later to spawn. As you have a series of eight dams between here and the ocean. Fish ladders allow adult fish passage back upstream. And for juvenile fish on the way downstream. There's a number of routes for fish to get past the dam. They can be spilled over the dam uh, by the spillway in general or through the removable spillway weir. They can pass through a turbine or they can buy, pass through a bypass system where they're trapped in transport or they can even be put back in river through that system. Passive integrated transponder tags, or PIT tags, provide critical tracking information. When we tag them, we have anesthetized them, similar with, to what happens when you go to the dentist. We're putting in small computer chips into the abdomen of the fish. As the fish swim down through the river, or as they come back as adults, they'll pass through antennas. And so we're looking for the best methods to handle the salmon once they get this far downriver. By getting them downstream quickly, we're avoiding predators, we're avoiding high water temperatures, we're getting them around problems associated with the dam. The success story of these dams on the Lower Snake River is that we continue to see adult returns. It's the Corps of Engineers and the agencies associated with us have made an enormous effort over the last few years to really improve fish passage. And I think we've done a great job at that. An important job that will impact salmon runs along the Snake River. Mary Cochran, Lower Granite Dam, Washington.